going to do another guitar video and today this, the guitar is my 2007 Fender Lone Star Strat sorry for the squeaky chair in 1996 uh, Fender brought originally brought this guitar out uh, it was available in, in a lot more colors and everything than it, than it was in 2007. It also came with 22 frets and was available with a, with a maple fretboard. This one is a uh, made in Mexico, and it only came it was only available the 21 fret neck and rosewood and this vintage tint neck that I really don't like. I don't like the vintage. It doesn't look vintage to me. It looks orange. Anyway, the guitar is a two-piece alder body. Your standard uh, modern C-shape uh, profile maple neck. Whisk comes straight. Standard fender sealed tuners. Uh, 21 medium, I think they're medium or medium, medium jumbo frets. Uh, this guitar originally came with... Uh, the tortoiseshell brown pickguard. I liked it for a little while, but I, I eventually changed it because I wanted the guitar to match everything. This what? I've had this guitar since 2007. It was issued or uh, made in 2007, and I bought it in 2007. Uh, the color was Olympic white, and so far it's it's starting to yellow. The finish. I think it's cool, and uh, the pickups that came in this guitar were. A Seymour Duncan Pearly Gates in the Bridge, SHPG1, and two Fender Texas Special pickups. I've changed all the pickups. Uh, these two are that's a, a Seymour Duncan SSL3 and a Seymour Duncan SSL5. And I recently changed the the Pearly Gates to a Seymour Duncan uh, Duncan Distortion SH6. And now this guitar really screams. Not like it didn't scream before, but now it's got more output and everything. Uh, I've got uh, GHS Infinity 1050 strings on this. The first four, five, and six are black. They got a, a coating on them. And yeah, I like my little bullet hole decals. My youngest son gave me the idea of where to put them. in. said, Dad, put them on your the guitar. So I did. And okay, um, but anyway, uh, this guitar has gone under a few mods. Like I said, that I changed the pet guard to the perloid white, changed the knobs to knurled steel with the perloid white buttons on top, which looks really cool. It matches the whole guitar that way. Uh, American uh, Fender American string trees. I don't know why I put them on. I just wanted to spruce it up a bit and I also changed the neck plate to to the half neck plate but as you can see the the color difference between the back cover and the guitar body itself that's fading this is on the bridge pickup so I'm on a clean channel on my fender Be a tune a little bit. These are brand new strings. That's okay. And the thing with this pickup is, is if I play harder on a clean channel, it starts to break up because just it's. Uh, Seymour Duncan says it's a 16.6 k uh, output, whereas the. The pearly gauge was only I think 8.9 somewhere around there, so and it didn't break up in you on a clean channel, but this one does. Metal position.
position number four or number two, whichever way you look at it. I I count my position from the bridge, not the neck. <laughs> Real stratty tones. and we'll go to a, a rock punch type tone back on the bridge They've been stretched a lot too already. Okay, we'll go to a a metal tone and a plug string into my amp too. This is where the Pick up shines.
I busted the signal coil though. Position two or position four? I'm canceling. All that crackling here is my bracelet's touching the bridge. I don't know why it's doing that. trying to play anything, I'm just noodling around. Middle position. My Charvel and my Ibanez and my BC Rich and my Dean and my other friend around the wall. Uh, when I got this guitar, I just loved it so much. It's, it's such an easy guitar to play. I love the neck on it. It's still considered my, I still consider it my number one guitar. If there's people out there who have never tried a Fender and are skeptical about them because, you know, they're such an iconic guitar and everything, uh, once you play one, you'll fall right in love with them. Uh, one of these days I'll get a Telecaster and hopefully one day I'll get a another Strat but just a three single coil Strat but the Mexican made Strats are they're, they're moderate price guitars but they're they're well worth the money if you can't afford a, a US standard Strat or anything this these are ten notches above any Squire any any top-of-the-line squire, any of the Mexican-made strats are top-notch. They play great, they sound great, and they're built the same way, basically, as the U.S. counterparts. God, the factories are only two hours apart, Mexico and Corona, California. Okay, this will wrap this up. Bye.